What up, though? It's your boy, Stay Fly, and welcome to The Assessment. Uh, I knew a while back I was supposed to make a series called The Assessment, where I would review either a bunch of weapons, armor pieces, exotics, and everything like that, and I never got around to it uh, because I decided to transition over to streaming. But now that I got this weapon, which you guys could have seen in the title or the thumbnail, I finally got my Redrix Broadsword in Destiny 2. The grind to get this weapon is freaking crazy. Um, it's a very lengthy grind to get this weapon. Uh, a lot of people that had the Claymore from last season, uh, or last year in Destiny 2, uh, they were able to get the Broadsword for free. And the difference between the broadsword and the claymore is that the broadsword you can have random rolls on the first two perks of the weapon. Of course, the last two perks are Desperado and Outlaw, which work together and go hand in hand with each other. Which is for Desperado, if you reload while Outlaw is active, it'll raise your fire rate. So as long as you get a headshot, a precision kill, then you reload, or what I do with my hunter now is dodge, you'll have Desperado active, which ups the rate of fire. And you'll definitely see a lot of Desperado action in this video. But this is basically my first, um, well, let me just get back. This is the assessment of the Redrix Broadsword. So this is my first match just so you guys know, this is one take. Uh, I'm not doing any clips, any snippets, or anything like that. I'm just going through the whole match, letting you guys know about this weapon. Uh, of course, you got some gameplay in the background. You can see how I'm using it, and I'm going to give you guys a few tips um, about how to use the weapon and what it's best for and better situations for it. Uh, as you can see here, look at some of that Desperado. You see that fire rate? It's okay. <laughs> Let me get back on track. Uh, but yes, this is my first match after acquiring the Redrick Broadsword. I immediately had my reset. Um, I had to restart the game uh, because going to orbit or switching characters didn't register my fifth reset. So if you guys do have an issue with that, make sure you just close the game down, open it back up, and your quest for the Redrick Broadsword should be completed. So you just go talk to Shax, pick it up. Um, I don't want to go through the list of what to do to get this weapon since I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of other videos uh, from a bunch of other YouTubers and Reddit users that already have that up. So all you have to do is look for Redrix Broadsword Questline and you guys will be able to have that information. But let me get to the let me get to the assessment of this weapon. I love this pulse rifle. I don't know who said that this pulse rifle wasn't good or who didn't like the pulse rifle. Of course, there's bygones and uh, Claws of the Wolf, which are two great pulse rifles to use. But for the playstyle that I'm going with here for the Redrick Broadsword is medium, but long range preferred. Of course, not long range like a sniper, but between medium and long range. This Redrick Broadsword is not good up close, especially against all the shotgunners, because you will get shotgunned and you will die. <laughs> so keep your distance. Uh, it hits hard. I'd say 33 uh, for a crit to the head at um, about a medium to long range distance. And I think it goes down to about 27 if you're out of that. But of course, I threw a counterbalance stock on mine, so. And it has a stability uh, masterwork. So the stability is very high. And with the counterbalance, as you can see, the recoil is straight up and down, which is nice for headshots. Uh, I'm going to probably have another Redrick Broadsword with the uh, targeting adjuster mod on it. So I can see, so I can test the recoil out and see which one is better. See, as you see, I was, I was missing a bunch of my shots here. So I definitely want to try it out and see... Um, if the targeting adjuster probably works better. I do have um, the pulse rifle uh, targeting on my headpiece. I just had a full set of Crucible gear so I can get the Triumph or the Shader. So I didn't have like my OP getting to the Crucible do work try hard gear on. So, But, but I did pretty good in this match. 
But like I was saying, this, you, you see right there, I was doing 33 to the head. Look at this. This, this gun is amazing. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I had the black talent on, doing a little black talent work, look at that. But okay, back to the weapon. Uh, the Regis Broadsword is best um, for medium to long range. Between medium and long range. The rate of fire, it's a slow rate of fire, but it hits hard. Kind of, look, see? I don't know why I did that and didn't do my dodge. I, I wasn't really in the right mindset to play, play try hard mode. I just wanted to play with the weapon, you know what I'm saying, test it out. Um, but this Redrick Broadsword is definitely, in my opinion, worth the grind. Watch this. This is probably my favorite part of the whole match. Look how I killed both of these guys. Easily. Boom. Killed him. Reload. Boom. 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 Killed him. I had a little help from my teammate on that one. But I just killed two dudes with ease after getting hit with the bow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, I have the Chain of Woe, which is the top tree. Uh, for the gunslinger which helped with the redo a little bit, but I'm a hunter All you have to do once you get a headshot kill is dodge and you'll automatically have desperado active Which is why I like which is why I'm only going to use this on my hunter And I do recommend you guys use this on your hunter um, You never know I, I might try it out with the new night stalker subclass uh, With the flawless execution so I can get that invisibility That might be nice with it too because Imagine, you know what I'm saying, crouching, getting a headshot kill, going invisible. I wonder if you can dodge and stay invisible. I don't try that out. Going invisible and just running into a full team and just wiping them out with Desperado. And then, when, of course, when you're, low on ham when you're low on ammo, you would dodge again so that it reloads. You know, there's so many things you can do with this weapon. And I don't know why it took me so long to get it. I should have had it a long time ago, but of course I stopped playing Crucible, um, and I stopped at, what was the step? I forgot the step before the one I'm on last, but as soon as I got to the last step where you had to get five resets of your Valor rank, and then Destiny comes out and say, hey, the season's over, and we're going to reset everything on the 27th, I had to get on the Crucible. I was happy that Iron Banner was here, because the times two and times three Valor helped out a lot. I got three resets, three Valor rank resets within the span of, I'd say, five to six days. And that was two days of pretty much grinding eight hours straight. So one full reset took me about eight hours. I'd say six to eight hours for a full reset with times two. And then I'd say four to six hours with a times three reset. Um, a tip I give you guys for that is to play Rumble. If you get top three in Rumble, it's basically classed as a win, and you'll get a streak. So play Rumble if you're looking to get the reset. If they come with that times two, times three Valor again, play a lot of Rumble. You won't have to worry about losing matches, because if you get top three, it counts as a win, which goes towards your streak. Uh, what I did also was get a, a five streak, and I started playing competitive. When you play competitive, um, if you lose, You'll still get the minimum for losing, but if you win, you get a times five streak amount for winning. But if you lose, your Valor Ring doesn't reset. So um, pretty much that's the, that's my assessment for the weapon. It's definitely a must grind for if you guys do want this. Uh, the quest stems aren't that hard, but it is long. Um, as you can see here at the end of the match, um, I believe I got an 8.0 KD with 32 kills. Um, but I do hope you guys enjoy the video and you grind for this weapon and I catch you guys next time Later I get it. You ain't got it like I got it. Nah, I'm with it. You ain't about it like I'm about it nah, Forget it. You can't do it like I did it never sleeping only dreaming still believing in the vision I be up